Melachim Sheni, 2 Kings, 25. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadne Satsar, king of Bebel, came, he and all his host, against Yerushalayim, and pitched against it, and they built forts against it round about. And the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Sidik Yahu. And on the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread for the people of the land. And the city was broken up, and all the men of war fled by night, by the way of the gate, between two walls, which is by the king's garden. Now the Kazdim were against the city round about, and the king went the way toward the plain, and the army of the Kazdim pursued after the king, and overtook him in the plains of Yarikho, and all his army were scattered from him. So they took at the king, and brought him up to the king of Bebel, to Rivla, and they gave judgment upon him, and they slew at the sons of Sidikiyahu before his eyes, and put out at the eyes of Sidikiyahu, and bound him with fetters of brass, and carried him to Bebel. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadne Satsar, king of Babel, came Nebuzar Adan, captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babel, unto Yerushalayim. And he burnt at the house of Yahuwah, and at the king's house, and at all the houses of Yerushalayim, and at, at every great man's house burnt he with fire. And all the army of the Kazdim that were with the captain of the guard broke down at the walls of Yerushalayim round about. Now at the rest of the people that were left in the city, and at the fugitives that fell away to the king of Babel, with at the remnant of the multitude, did Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, carry away. But the captain of the guard left of the poor of the land to be vine dressers and husbandmen. And at the pillars of brass that were in the house of Yahuwah, and at the bases, and at rather, and the at brazen sea that was in the house of Yahuwah, did the Kazdim break in pieces and carried at the brass of them to Babel. And at the pots, and at the shovels, and at the snuffers, and at the spoons, and at all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered, took they away, and at the firepans, and at the bowls, and such things as were of gold, in gold and of silver, in silver, the captain of the guard took away the two pillars, one sea, and the bases which Shalomah had made for the house of Yahuwah. The brass of all the vessels was without weight. The height of the one pillar was eighteen cubits, and the chapiter upon it was brass, and the height of the chapiter three cubits, and the wreathen work and pomegranates upon the chapiter round about, all of brass, and like unto these had the second pillar with wreathen work. And the captain of the guard took Eth Sariyahu, the chief priest, and Eth Sephenyahu, the second priest, and Eth the three guarders of the door. And out of the city he took an officer that was set over the men of war, and five men of them that were in the king's presence, which were found in the city, and at the principal scribe of the host, which mustered at the people of the land, and threescore men of the people of the land that were found in the city. 
And Nebu Zar Adan, captain of the guard, took these and brought them to the king of Babel to Rivla. And the king of Babel smote them and slew them at Rivla in the land of Chathmath. So Yahuda was carried away out of their land. And as for the people that remained in the land of Yahuda, whom Nebuchadni Sadsar, king of Babel, had left, even over them he made Eth Gedaliahu, the son of Achikam, the son of Shaphan, ruler. And when all the captains of the armies, they and their men, heard that the king of Babel had made Eth Gedaliahu governor, there came to El Gedaliahu to Mitzpah, even Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, and Yahu Hanan, the son of Kerich, and Serayahu, the son of Tankumeth, and Netophathi, and Yaazanyahu, the son of Ma'achati, they and their men. And Gideliahu swore to them and to their men, and said unto them, Fear not to be the servants of the Kazdim. Dwell in the land, and serve at the king of Babel, and it shall be well with you. But it came to pass in the seventh month that Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, the son of Elishama, of the seed royal, came and ten men with him, and smote at Gedaliahu, that he died, and at the Yahudim, and at the Kazdim, that were with him at Mitzpah, and all the people, both small and great, and the captains of the armies, arose and came to Mitzrayim, for they were afraid of the Kazdim. And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Yahu Yakin, king of Yahuda, in the twelfth month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, that Evil Merodach, king of Babel, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up at the head of Yahu Yakin, king of Yahuda, out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him, and sat at his throne, above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babel, and changed at his prison garments, and he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life, And his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day, all the days of his life.